Jeffrey wakes up at 12 p.m. He grabs his phone and immediately scrolls on social media. He faps, binge watches Netflix for two hours, and finally gets up at 3 p.m. He doesn't work out. He decides to fap for the third time for today before hitting a five hour video game session. He feels depressed and doesn't know why, even though he spends all day simply focusing on instant gratification, which gives his future self a worse life. He finishes off the day by ordering some McDonald's, even though he is broke and knows that it won't make him feel any better. But it makes you feel better, doesn't it, Jeffrey? Makes you happy? For 10 whole minutes, it does. But what are you left with afterwards? Adonis wakes up fasted, he reads, meditates, journals. He looks at his goals and visualizes his success. He works until 12 p.m. and breaks his fast with a big, nutritious meal. He eats like a king because he deserves it after putting in so many hours of productivity. He finishes off his day by hitting a nice workout which fuels his mighty physique. Like the hungry lion. I've said this multiple times and I'll say it again. For the longest time, I was a complete beta. I was a complete beta male, the most beta that you could ever imagine. I would wake up at 12 p.m. I would live this Jeffrey life. I would wake up at 12 p.m. like I said, literally fap for three, four times a day. Play video games all day until 12, 1, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. I would feel depressed the day after yet. I would never do anything about it. And the worst part about this is that you can relate to this yourself. You can. Today I will be discussing the five worst habits that are keeping men weak, that are keeping you weak. Number one is social media. Social media is one of the things that has been implanted into our lives ever since that phones have been normalized. Social media is basically a part of our routine nowadays and this is not a good thing. Most people nowadays literally take out their freaking phones unintentionally. We take it out subconsciously to scroll on social media. Most of the times, whenever you pull out your phone, literally think about this right now. Most of the times when you pull out your phone, you do it unintentionally. You don't have a purpose. You do it without a purpose. You, you, you're, not, you're not gonna call anyone, you're not gonna text anyone. You just do it because you're just gonna scroll like, scroll like, scroll like. This is how much, this is how big the impact that social media has had on our lives. We become NPCs that all we know is score like, score like. We just follow whatever it says on social media. If people tell us that Andrew Tate is a misogynistic asshole, we'll believe it. We're literally slaves to this world. Imagine if you use all this time that you spend on social media and something productive. Imagine the life that you could have. Think about that. I can literally ask you right now, what have you seen on social media? Because you likely scrolled today for at least three or four hours on social media. What have you learned? You can't even tell me anything. Those fitness videos that you watch, they're not productive. You're productively procrastinating. Don't fool yourself by this. Second, it is video games. Video games is the virtual world. It is the virtual version of the life that we want to have. The reason why men nowadays play video games is because we as men, we crave to level up. We crave to be strong, masculine men. However, whenever a man is too weak, too much of a pussy to do it in real life, he'll do it in a video game. This is the reason why we spend so much time of our lives playing video games. Because what we truly wanted was to level up in real life. However, when we realized that it was too hard, we chose the easy path. Don't do this to yourself because your future self will pay for this. No one's gonna care if you're level 100 on Fortnite. No one's gonna care if you have that new skin. No one's gonna care if you got that new diamond camouflage thing on your guns on Call of Duty or whatever the fuck you play. In the future, no one's gonna give a shit, but you will pay for it. Your future self will pay for it. The more time that you spend here playing video games, the more time that your future self will have to pay for it. Delay gratification. Sacrifice these video games and put in the work in something that's actually gonna increase your level in real life. Increase your character. Do things like working out which actually improve your physique and actually increase the level of your character in real life. Number three, Netflix and TV shows. Binge watching Netflix and TV shows is a symptom of anxiety, literally. You can literally search this up. But the reason why you watch the same TV shows that you've already watched so many fucking times, you watched it the whole fucking all seasons, you watched it five, six, seven times. The reason you do this is because you're anxious, because it, it, it gives you a sense of comfort. 
This is something that a beta would do. The more time that you spend just doing this, what are you gonna get from this in the future? Yes, it might make you kinda happy in the end, but what do you get from this afterwards? You have to pay for it. You might get a like, small sense of happiness, but in the end, you just have to pay for it. Your future self will have to pay for that. He'll get worse mental health. He'll be less happy and he'll have a worse physique because you just sat there doing nothing on your ass. Number four, eating junk food. Eating junk food is one of the worst habits that you can do, especially for men. As eating junk food re releases insulin, which is literally the the hormone that makes you sad, which makes you comfortable, which makes you tired. You don't want this. The more that this releases, the worse that you'll feel, the more depressed that you feel. Have you ever, has it ever gone through your head that the reason why you feel depressed, when you sometimes get feelings of depression, it might have been because of the fucking junk food that you ate? The food that you ate, that you eat has a big impact on your fucking mental health. Keep this in mind. Binge eating junk food or just eating it in general can really have a big toll on your life. Not only this, but doing this as a habit, doing this consistently can really mess up your image. It can really fuck up your body. You'll gain more fat. And whenever you look in the mirror and you look fat, hold yourself accountable. Realize that this is this is because of your own choices. This is this is the consequences of your choices because your physique is a reflection of how easy or how hard your life has been. If you have a strong, masculine, uh, an attractive looking body, it's because you've actually put in the work. But if you have a fat, disgusting looking body, then this is just the, the reflection of the consequences. This is just a reflection of the easy choices that you've made. Don't do this to yourself. And number five, pornography. Watching porn and fapping three or four or five times a day. It's another thing of it's another one of those things that men crave. Men crave love and intimacy from a woman. However, when a man is not masculine enough, whenever he's not, he doesn't have the balls to go out and meet real women, to put himself in uncomfortable situations, to meet real women, he'll look for this in pornography, on social media. He'll, you, you'll just jack off to Instagram models, which just fucks up more and more of your mental health. What do you think your subconscious tells itself whenever it's looking at all these women? You're fooling your mind into thinking that you're looking at all these women. So once you've done fapping, your mind tells you, your mind, you subconsciously tell yourself, okay, I'm tired, it's time to rest. However, you haven't actually put in any work. All you did was go on Pornhub and jack off three, four, five times a day. What do you think this does to your mental health? All of these things, these are things which really compound. So whenever whenever you, you're in a tough spot and you think that you're unlucky, realize that it's not because you're unlucky. It is simply you paying for the, it is simply you paying for the things that you did in the past. It is the consequences of the bad, of the bad choices that you had, that you made. So whenever you're making these choices, realize that you will pay for it in the future. And when you're in a bad spot, realize that it is because you, your past self chose to make these choices, literally. You chose to watch porn, you chose to eat, eat junk food you chose to play video games so if your life is shit don't blame it on anyone else but yourself if you haven't achieved your goals it is simply because of your choices because you didn't have the discipline to get up and hit the gym even if you didn't feel like it because that is discipline motivation is not always going to be there however doing all these bad habits will just keep you weak and will just encourage you to continue just focusing on instant gratification don't do this to yourself those of you disagreeing with me here and telling me that it's all it's okay to indulge in these things it's okay to play one hour of video games a day it's okay to watch porn from time to time you are a little bitch if you want to lie to yourself and tell yourself that it's okay then go ahead keep on being unhappy with yourself and tell and keep on lying to yourself telling you telling yourself every single night that it's okay just so you can sleep well at night but if you're hearing this and you're getting fed up and you're, you have some sort of some sort of aggression towards this you're tired of living like a fucking bum then take action Discipline yourself, start working out, do the good habits, and create a good life for yourself, for your future self. Yes, it might be hard right now. However, sacrificing these things today will make you and which and will give you a so much better tomorrow. Imagine that you start doing all of these good habits. You take all of these bad habits out of your life. You start to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Especially when you feel like watching porn or whenever you want to eat junk food, but you make the right choice even if you don't feel like it. You start getting more confidence, you start building some muscle, and all of a sudden you're attracting women. You attracted that girl you love. You're living a happy life with her. You have children. However, if you choose these bad habits, this won't come. You will just stay living an unhappy, depressed life. And you will stay in the same loop that you've been for most of your life. Make the right choice. And do it for your future self.